River Valley Civilizations. Mesopotamia, the Fertile Crescent. It's a strip of land that was rich in soil, had wheat, flat, wheat fields, and it was the crossroads of the cultural diffusion. It is in modern day Iraq. It had many different names throughout the years. Ancient Sumar, or Mesopotamia, it was between the rivers Tigris and Euphrates. The rivers were used for transportation, food, trade, and farming. And it was approximately right around 3500 BC. The government was a theocracy, which meant it was led by religious leaders. Religion rules and government rules were the same. Writing was cuneiform, inscribed into clay tablets, and then it would be baked in the sun. Religion was polytheistic. They believed in many gods. They built great ziggurats, which were religious temples made of bricks and tiles to worship the gods. The contributions included the wheel, the calendar, the sundial, irrigation systems, and the metal plow. Hammurabi was one of the great leaders during this time. He founded the Empire of Babylon. He improved irrigation. He raised a great army, and he built many temples. He is most known for his Hammurabi's Code, which was 282 codified laws, including the most famous eye for an eye, tooth for a tooth. It was socially unequal. More severe punishments would happen for the lower classes if a crime was against an upper class individual. If you got into a fight, let's say, with a rich person and you were a poor person or a person of lower class, and the rich person ripped out your eye, you could not hurt the rich person in retaliation. The rich person would maybe pay you a payment for to pay for your medical bills to help pay your family because you were hurt, but you were not allowed to take their eye. Now, if two people of equal standing got into a fight and one of them hurt their eye, you would be allowed to hurt the other guy's eye. It would be equal, but only if they were of the same class.